Okay, so here's the mushroom, which I think is an oyster mushroom, but it's, it has one characteristic. It's size that doesn't really match up for me. So if anybody knows, I would love to hear. I mean, it has the decurrent gills like an oyster mushroom. This real characteristic edge, the way the white kind of comes down into the clear that I'm used to seeing in oyster mushrooms. This, sometimes the ones we have have an anise scent and this one does not. A little bit fuzzy on top. And here's a close up of the gill structure. So, if you know if this is or isn't, I would love to know. We have a lot of oysters that grow out here, but this was growing last year on the same tree. A little bit smaller than this, but still huge. So, do oysters get this big? Here's a size comparison. It seems to come up out of the water. It has this weird sort of zigzag drag in the middle. I'm assuming, on either side. Then you can see this strange drag. Follow it along a little bit. Here we're getting a really odd zigzag pattern. And you can see the regular prints. It's easier to see it on this side and the other side's been obstructed a little bit in part by my family here. <laughs> The only other thing to notice is that it seems, I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing this, but I feel like I'm seeing that zigzag track move further down in, as if this creature wasn't just, you know, on the surface. Makes me wonder if something is living down there in the deeps. Any ideas? I'm totally stumped on this one. We love any um, speculation, expertise, just weigh in. <laughs>